Hello and welcome. I'm Madam Soul Food. Today I will be making meatloaf. I have my three blend of veal, sausage, and beef. Here are my ingredients that I'm using. Breadcrumbs, peanut oil, egg, basil paste, a half a bell pepper, I also have here some crushed garlic, my special seasoning, my accent salt below, and a yellow onion. And now I'm going to add my onions and peppers. So this is my first time making a homemade meatloaf here. On my channel I don't make meatloaves very often but they are pretty tasty I'm not going to add a lot of um, ingredients as far as like uh, salt based uh, seasonings like your your Lipton onion soup however it tastes delicious when you add it um, also too um, you can add barbecue sauce to your meat, but you have to be very careful so that your meat doesn't come out too soggy. So yeah, you can add barbecue sauce, you can add steak sauce if you like a steak sauce type of flavoring to your uh, meatloaf. You can add sugar to your meatloaf. Some people add tomato paste, but I'm going to keep it pretty simple. This is just a quick, you know, meal and... Um, enjoy the video I'll be back momentarily so it's time to start blending all these beautiful delicious ingredients into my meat I'm just using an average wooden spoon just to chop it down some. It's still very cold, so I'm just going to speed up the process real quick and uh, mush it all together. And after I do that, I'm going to spray my cutting board. After I spray my cutting board, I'm going to add my ground veal and sausage mix onto it. Now the reason why I put the spray there is so that my meat mixture doesn't stick to my cutting board as I create the loaf. Some people use parchment paper or wax paper or non-stick aluminum foil or just on their countertop. But I'm going to use my cutting board. This gives me a little bit more stability and it's a little bit easier for me to, you know, do what I gotta do and easier to clean. So I'm just trying to create a loaf shape and when I'm finished, a little trick I do is I create indents in the middle so that my loaf doesn't shrink. Sometimes it shrinks um, when you're baking it in the oven, but I'll be using an air fryer today. There we go, little baby. <laughs> Isn't it cute? It's just so adorable. I'm really proud of myself for creating such a nice size loaf. Anyways, here are my potatoes. Something quick. You put them in the microwave. They already have holes in it. You don't have to cut, slit, or tear at the bag. You place the bag in the microwave for five minutes. The asparagus, they were frozen. A little wilted, but that's okay. That process was also sped up. I'm going to throw them on top of my stove top griller and grill them for five minutes. I'm going to add some black pepper and something special, some Badia Ranch seasoning. Yes, you gotta try it. It makes the asparagus taste amazing. So I'm just gonna roll it around in that ranch all-purpose seasoning, and then I'm gonna throw it on the stovetop. Voila, here we go. So as you can see, um, when you use an air fryer, it's a little bit more brown at the top than using a oven and baking it. Although my air fryer had a uh, baking, um, you know, button to press. So 
that selection I used. It wasn't too bad. I baked it at 345 degrees for a half an hour. And then for 15 minutes, I baked it at, I believe it was like 385 degrees. And there we have a simple meatloaf. I'm just gonna slice it up real good. Please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a positive comment if you like. Stay safe and try to think positive because things could be a whole lot worse. Bye-bye.